Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to assign the rotary speaker speed to a button and or a pedal. All right, let's get started. So as we're playing uh, the virtual tone wall organ or, or tone wall organs, one of the most important aspects besides the actual organ is the rotary speaker or the speed of it. And inside the Phantom, if we want to, it's very easy to have it speed up and slow down. We have already some parameters automatically built in. One being we can go ahead and hit the pitch bend to the left or to the right, and you will notice it automatically will speed it up or slow it down. So that's a very common one, and that's what many of us will do is just use the pitch bend and hit it to the left or to the right right to slow down or speed up our rotary simulator. Now another option that people want is to assign it to a particular button and of course a pedal. So let's show how to do a button first. So in my example I'm going to put mine here on S1. All right very easy. I'm going to press and hold shift and I'm going to hit S1. Right you see my scene edit comes up for the particular buttons. I'm going to press enter pop that window open, and I'm going to cursor all the way to the bottom. Let's use this knob right here. Great. So uh, there's a lot of parameters in here, and the parameter I'm looking for is rotary speed. So I'm going to say OK. Now, this next, we have a choice here. Do we want it to have it on? Let's press Enter. Do we want it to be a momentary, which means we have to keep holding down S1 for it to keep uh, the speed. So as soon as I let off, it will slow back down. Okay. That's up to you. Or do I want it to be latch, which means it is going to start off slow. And when I press S1, it'll latch to the on position, which will have it fast. And do I, and to get it to go back slow, I will have to reselect S1, just hit it to slow it back down. So it's up to you. I think in my example, I am going to go ahead and hit it, uh, have it latch. So it'll always be in there. Now that that is set, I will press the right button and it's going to write that to the scene. So let's go ahead and say yes. And here's a scene that I've been working on. And OK. All right. So right now there's nothing on and I'll go ahead and make it so you can see. There's nothing on. I'll go ahead and hit S1. And you see it's latched. It's latched. So it'll stay on fast. I'll hit it again and it'll slow back down. It'll unlatch. And so that's one option. That's another option. Besides using the pitch mod to the left or the right, you can go ahead and assign it to a, another button. But to me, that doesn't really make sense. The one that everybody's going to want to know how to do is how to assign it to a pedal. And I just grabbed a, my good old fashioned DP2, but this will work with the DP10s as well if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to take my DP2 and I'm going to plug it into one of the pedal ports of the Phantom now. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I plugged in the DP2 into the control one input, and it could be in the control one, control two, or control three, whatever you want. And now I need to make this come up, right? The parameters come up. Now I can go into the zone edit or the menu and search and all this stuff, but the easiest way is to go ahead, press and hold shift, and just go ahead and squeeze the pedal. Great, so now the parameters have come up very quickly. And uh, one thing I do want you guys to notice is that at the top, it went to the system. Now, I want you to be aware of this. If, if your pedals are set to system, the pedals will have the same as assignments no matter what scene you're on because it is a system setting. Uh, I want to have mine go per scene because I might want this pedal to do something else on a different scene. So I'm going to have mine to scene. Okay, now let's go back to that particular pedal. Uh, once again, let's go ahead and shift and make sure I have it in the right spot. Great. Now you notice it went instead of the system edit, it went to the scene edit and that's what I want. All right. So currently this pedal is assigned for expression in this particular scene. So I'm going to press the enter button. I am going to go all the way to the bottom and you'll notice here's all my virtual tone world organ parameters and we're going to choose speed as we did last time with the, with the S1. So I'm going to hit say OK. And next, I get to determine whether I want it to go ahead and the range. So uh, do I want it uh, range of zero? So just when it's just uh, untouched to just go here. And then when I depress the pedal or step on it, uh, where do I want it to go? Well, I wanted to go full to 127. So that's fine. 
All right. So minimum, it's going to be at zero, which that's fine with me because because my rotary will just be slowly moving. That's fine. But I can set that range max here. So great. I think we're set. Let's go ahead and press the right button. I'm going to save it to the same scene I've been working on. And OK. And it's the Ed Virtual Tone will Organ scene. And I'm going to say OK and right. So I'm going to go ahead and have this and so pay attention to this to what you're hearing and then also the visual representation. What will happen is I will click on the pedal and notice I just clicked it on and you see the rotary is full on, it's going fast and I'm gonna have to click it again to have it go back to slow. So once again, it's on slow, step on the pedal or click the pedal, you would be step on it and it's fast and Hit it again to go slow. So this is really helpful if you guys or gals are out there playing with two hands, you're kicking some bass, you're doing a bunch of solo and you're doing great, and you cannot go ahead and hit that pitch, pitch mod uh, wheel here where you can go ahead and have it speed up. So this is where we can do put it right here. We got it going. Step on it, step on it again. And it slowed it back down. Now, so I just wanted to show you that that is a common functionality that everyone will want to do. This is a great option for you if you're too busy you know, shucking and jiving with your left and right hand. You're both in your hands and you can have it to the pedal. All right, you guys check this out. I hope it helps you out. Take care and we'll talk to you later.